Good day, everybody. So my name is Patrick Morin, and my research topic was the Battle of Camden and the Battle of Cowpens. Um, were the outcomes due to either Gates's incompetence or was it Morgan's talent? So the three books that I really uh, used heavily in my uh, in my paper was this one, the Battle of Cowpens and Contemporary Accounts. So it essentially has uh, letters from general officers, officers, and regular soldiers from the day of the battle. I used The Road to Gifford Courthouse, uh, The American Revolution in the Carolinas by John Buchanan. And the third one is digital. I don't have it. I don't have an actual hard copy of it. It's called The Battle of Camden, a documentary history by Jim Peekich. I, I'm probably butchering his last name and I apologize. So essentially, uh, after the fall of Charleston, Patriot forces in the South were just scrambling, trying to rebuild and, and regroup. Um, so a lot of them went to North Carolina. And during the Battle of Char Charleston, we pretty much lost about 2,500 Patriot uh, soldiers who eventually were captured and the majority of them did not survive captivity. Uh, so after that, uh, the Continental, Continental Congress was scrambling, trying to find someone to replace the general, the major general, uh, whose name escapes me right now, who was in charge of the Southern campaign, uh, who was handpicked by Washington and who Washington even warned to not get into a siege at Charleston. And if he can, to avoid a siege and escape and save his forces. But the civilian population, the civilian leadership in Charleston, which uh, eventually escaped, uh, convinced him to stay and begged him to stay and even threatened if he didn't stay, they would burn all the boats that he would have used to escape. So the siege failed. Continental Congress was scrambling. Patriot forces in the South were scrambling. And then eventually the Continental Congress decided on General Gates being the new leader of the Southern campaign. So General Gates rushed over to the South from his home in Virginia where he was and trying to outshine Washington. He thought that he could get another win like at Saratoga. And so he was very quick to go to war and to go to battle with the British. So. He essentially went and marched within the two days over to the Patriot forces where they were in North Carolina, found them half starved without any equipment, about 1500 men. Uh, and then he decided to march south to Camden. So that didn't end well for him. And it was a complete rout of American forces, mainly because he decided to put militia units on his left flank against the crack troops of the British regular army. That didn't end well because the militia scrambled right from the first shot and Gates scrambled with him, with them. And within three days, he covered 180 miles back to his home in Virginia. Um, sorry, no, back to North Carolina. Um, so I don't know if it's incompetence on Gates's part, but definitely hubris that caused his downfall and his fall from, from grace. Um, at the Battle of Cowpens, however, you have similar situation where it's Patriot forces completely outnumbered and outgunned and outmatched almost by the British in the Southern campaign. But it was generals like Nathaniel Green and Daniel Morgan who were able to make do with what they had. And Daniel Morgan essentially uh, led a small group of Patriots, about 1,100 total, through the backwoods of South and North Carolina, sending the British general, Tar Colonel Tarleton, in a and a goose chase after him. And finally, Morgan found the best opportunity at Cowpens. And what he did is he put the militia in the center in front of regular troops, and then he put regular troops on the flanks, knowing that the militia would retreat. So, and knowing Morgan, and knowing Tarleton, Tarleton was gonna do a full on advance. And he did, the militia retreated, the flanks closed in, cavalry closed in from behind and double enveloped the British and won. So that was definitely Morgan's talent at play there. And unfortunately, I'm out of time, but I hope you guys have a wonderful day.